I need to buy games for my Nintendo Switch OLED. <laughs> Let's open our wallet. How much money do we have? We have a thousand baht. But still, uh, the month of December, it's almost finished. And this is my allowance for a week, for two weeks. And I don't have any. I have 10, 11 baht. So, what's the point of this video? So, as a late bloomer gamer, it's not just like I don't have, I, I just play games just right now. But since I was a, uh, since I was a kid, uh, I play games and I only have that Famicom game. And mostly I, I go to my neighbors or my friends, for those who have Game Boy, the original Game Boy, uh, the PlayStation 1, uh, the Super Nintendo. I do love playing those games, but I can play if I can go to my neighbor's house or I will rent a peso for about uh, 30 minutes gameplay for their Game Boys, for their PlayStation, or maybe for free if I can hang out with them and play with them with my neighbors. So in this video, as a late bloomer gamer, is it worth buying the Nintendo Switch OLED or the Nintendo Switch version 2 or any emulator handheld retro console which is those brands that uh, cater for that handhelds are the Anbernic, the Retroid, Paukidi and there are a lot of more emulator handheld games that are not uh, so expensive like especially for the Anbernic RG35XX, for the Pau KD, for the RG, eh, for the R3, what do you call that? 5S, that one. You can play those retro games or the nostalgia feeling that you are playing when since you are you are a kid. So in this video, is it worth to buy a Nintendo Switch or a retro handheld? Uh, gaming console for me it's yes if you have for those in this video I focus for those who don't have enough budget to buy games I took to play games with their if you can if you plan to buy a handheld console but if you don't have enough money if you have in a tight budget you can buy this one I highly recommend the RG35XX. If you if you want to play also with the Mio Mini Mini Plus, it's this it's the same. But for me I like Unbernic RG35XX. For me this is uh, a retro handheld console. It only plays PlayStation 1, but the nostalgia feeling when you're a kid that you're not able to play those games if you play for the you go to other your neighbors or to to the stores to the vendors to the sari sari stores that you will put a peso and you can play around four minutes up for one peso so in the late 90s uh, those cartridges, those games for the Famicom, the Super Nintendo, PlayStation, Game Boy are so expensive. Game Boy itself, the original Game Boy, it's so expensive. That's why if for those who want to play and rela re re reliving or you want to revive those feeling, the nostal nostalgia feeling, playing retro games or the games you miss a lot before, playing with your neighbors, play, if you have your Famicom, Super Nintendo, uh, this one, the RG35XS, I highly recommend this one. Uh, today, the RG35XX Plus uh, release now in the market, and I really recommend RG35XX Plus, but for me, 
as a late bloomer gamer. This one doesn't have internet, doesn't have Wi-Fi capabilities, no Bluetooth. It's just the same nostalgia feeling of having a Game Boy uh, Advance Game Boy Color, the original Game Boy, the Super Famicom, the Super Nintendo, uh, PlayStation 1. You can play with this one smoothly. No issues if you if you try to tweak uh, or to buy the branded garlic OS micro SD card. So I have recommend this one. And of course for this channel I bought the Nintendo Switch OLED. So in in my past video I uploaded that I buy I bought the Nintendo Switch Lite. Uh, for me, I buy that. I buy that. I bought that one because I, for me, I think it's the best console for me, for a tight budget, for people like me that those who have tight budget. But since Nintendo Switch OLED, I scan through the mar Facebook Market page. Uh, I find, found one. This one. In a good price, it's not brand new. It's used, but it's 99%. That's why I grabbed this one. And I want to en enhance more my gaming experience. If, if I can buy this one in the right budget for me. Because I don't have <laughs> that enough money to buy. And my dream is that I will buy the Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED. But since this one, I found in the Facebook market that it has a good price. Here, just buy the TPU case, it looks like the Tears of the Kingdom already. So, is it good to buy a Nintendo Switch OLED or Nintendo Switch version 2 or any retro handheld gaming console like the Anbernic? I highly recommend for those who have a tight budget and for those gamers who like to play and to reminisce the old, uh, the retro games that you play even since you were a kid. So I highly recommend this one. Although Nintendo Switch OLED, for me, it's not, uh, it's not like a like, uh, cheap one because you, you do have to buy games for this one. But since then, it's 2000, this one is released in 2019 and the prices are getting low. Because there are a lot of handheld consoles that are so powerful like the Legion Go, Ally, the Steam Deck, that you can play all games. You can emulate, even you can emulate the Nintendo's, Nintendo Switch games on the ROG Ally, the Steam Deck. So I have recommended this one for those who have a tight budget and for those who like to play games like the Legend of Zelda, the Super Mario, and all the Nintendo exclusive. For the if or for me, for those who don't like Nintendo, a Nintendo game, Nintendo games exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. Maybe just buy uh, emulators like this that has an Android capabilities, so that you can emulate those games. But for me. I do love playing Nintendo uh, games exclusive for my Nintendo Switch. So, again, if you have a tight budget like me as a late bloomer gamer, uh, I highly recommend buying the Switch OLED and the retro handheld gaming console. So, when I bought this one, this is my first handheld that I bought. And I play a lot of games with this one. I spend a lot of time playing with this retro handheld console. I enjoy playing Metal Slug, the Super Mario World, everything from the old, even Atari 2600, you can play with this one. Doom, uh, Quake, and Duke Nukem, you can play with this one. Even though it can play on a TV, but for me, handheld gaming like this, it's so <clears throat> very uh, light, 
very small and you can put on your pocket wherever you will go you can play retro games with this one but if you have like um, other choices you can but for me i recommend if you are a late bloomer like me on a tight budget this is now for me the Anbernic RG35XX and Nintendo Switch OLED for me as of now it it uh, bring back my old memories of playing those games even though I have, don't have one even since when I was a kid so for those again for those who have a tight budget I highly recommend buying the Switch version 2 it's okay uh, if you have a very very tight budget and if you have a little more budget you can buy the switch OLED and for this one you can buy this one a retro handheld gaming console and I will make this video a 15 minute video I will just talk about uh, why I buy this one I bought this two uh, handheld console for me I like playing games on a PC or a laptop, but I will tell you honestly on this channel that I don't have a PC or a laptop. Uh, I was aiming for buying a PC or a laptop, laptop, but I'm really on a tight budget because I'm working here abroad. I do have a lot of uh, another, uh, what do you call this one? Uh, another priorities in life so I would not uh, I would not give this uh, opportunity in my life to play games because for I know most of the guys right here playing games is your scapegoat for your stress in life or you want to be relieved after a stressful work or the stressful day if you will play we can really enjoy playing and we can all the stress are out so again i have made this a 15 minute video about is it worth buying the nintendo switch oled or nintendo switch version 2 or another retro handheld console so for me it's a yes if you have a tight budget so i made this video because i think late bloomer gamer talks about uh gaming on what you have gaming on what resources that you will have and maybe if you strive more if you work more if we save more we can really buy those handhelds that we really want in the future but if you have a tight budget and you want to play games like for nintendo's exclusive games or retro handheld games this one i'm even if this only i have only this handheld console right now i'm really having so much fun because the metal slug tekken 3 PS1 games I can play with this one and the Super Nintendo games Super Fam uh, the Famicom uh, Game Boy Color Game Boy original Game Boy Game Boy Advance really worth it this one not only really worth it and this one is for me is the bonus one this is my for me this is my ROG ally or my Nintendo Le Legion Go, Lenovo Legion Go right now I really love playing with my Nintendo Switch I'm not regretting but for those who have money of course you can buy games or you can buy uh, retro handheld consoles that are expensive and for me I have only two games right now but I really love playing the Zelda Breath of the Wild and if I finish this one I will proceed to Tears of the Kingdom and maybe save <clears throat> save money for other Nintendo Switch games. So this is all for now. Once again, thank you. Thank you.
and hope this video will help you decide on what handheld console that you will buy this uh, end of the year that you can read that you can play next year 2024 with this uh, devices here on my mini table <laughs> so that's all for now highly recommend rg 35 xx and any cheap not cheap but uh if you're in a tight budget this one it's good mio mini plus retroid pow kd good and if you have if you plan to play nintendo switch games <clears throat> nintendo switch exclusive games you can buy the version 2 if you if version 1 is so cheap but i think you will go with the version 2 so version 2 switch oled switch Lite, good for me but i really like highly recommend switch oled so that you can play also in tv so that's it for this video oh it's 16 minutes already sorry so that's all for now thank you and hope this video helps you to decide what console if you have a tight budget thank you